Well, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the farm. So it may be a gloomy, not very warm day here at the farm, but it is an exciting day. Today, our bees came. So we are installing our beehives this morning. I'm here with my brother, the bee dad. He is the uh, the family bee expert. He got his first hive last year. So he, uh, he ran the beta test and he is gonna help me get these hives uh, installed at the farm here this morning. So this is three separate hives. We do have three queens. They're going into three separate boxes. And these are from Georgia. The Mountain Sweet Honey Company. And this is how they ship, just in this container right here. So these hives were already here at the farm. They've been sitting back here vacant for the last couple of years without any bees in them. So really all we did to prepare them was, is we kind of just blew out the dust. We left some of the old comb and stuff. Some of the frames are clean, but we left some of the old established stuff in there, the wax and everything, so they had more supplies to get started. So Mike is starting to open up the crate here, and we'll start to get them transferred over to the new homes. So what Mike is pulling out right now, this is the queen, is in here. And there's a little plug we'll have to pull out that has, on the other side of the cork, there's candy, kind of here on this end. And they'll have to eat through the candy to get to the queen. And that's what will let the queen loose inside the hive. Plugging that big hole up right there were these cans of like sugar syrup. So the bees stayed fed while they were shipping. and in there is where he said the candy is It'll take them a couple days to eat it while the workers start building comb so that they'll actually stay if there's no comb they got no reason to stay so he's just kind of wedging it wedging it into the frames there so it'll stay put he said they'll come find her and let her free Everybody's already in this one. You can hear him humming. And if you were wondering if it's a little intimidating to stand in this as a novice beekeeper, you, uh, you would be correct. Haven't gotten stung yet. Had a bunch of them land on me. No stings. So Mike is putting a couple of feeders together. Just sugar water, right? Just one to one sugar syrup. One part sugar, one part water. The good stuff. Good stuff.
So that's all three hives placed into their boxes. We're gonna go ahead and put the last feeder over here at this box. Um, we are gonna strap this to these blocks so it ends up being less precarious than it looks. These are not the permanent locations for these hives. We will end up moving them probably over to the orchard, at least one or two over to the orchard. So they're uh, close to that. So we'll have good pollinators out there by the orchard, but uh, that's such a hill. I need to build some kind of platform, level it off somehow. So uh, yeah, there's somewhere for the, for the hives to sit on. Haven't quite gotten to that yet, but we're gonna leave these here for, I don't know, the next couple of weeks or so, let them establish. And uh, yeah, this is really exciting. And a quick shout out to our dad, he built these boxes. So we had the two existing yellow hives, then he built this one. All right, so now that the, the bees are in the hives and the feeders are set, what's the, uh, what's the plan of action from here, Micah? Just let them, uh, let them get established. So the queen needs comb in there to want to stay. So uh, hopefully in the next three days, they will start to make some honeycomb and they will release the queen and she can start laying and get these colonies established. So now we wait. Today is Saturday. Micah said he's gonna come back over on Tuesday, three days from now, and we're gonna open the hives back up and we're gonna check those queen traps to make sure that the queen has been released. Um, like he was saying a little bit ago, that's kind of the thing that we're waiting on for them to establish, start establishing, making some comb and to get the queen released for them to uh, start establishing in these hives. So we will pick back up with you guys on Tuesday. All right, so actually it is Monday. It has only been two days, but I just went ahead and came back here to give you guys a little bit of an update. Uh, it's not gonna be until tomorrow where my brother's coming back and we're gonna open the hives up and check to make sure that the queens, the, that they release the queens out of those traps. But I thought I'd just come back and show you guys real quick what's been going on. So you can see they've gotten pretty, uh, pretty far into their, uh, their sugar water, their sugar syrup so far. Um, don't know if you'll be able to hear it on the camera, but they are just zipping around my head right now. But they're pretty much unfazed. I, uh, about 40 minutes ago, I was just cutting some grass back here. That didn't bug them at all. I was a little, little concerned it might rile them up a little bit. Walk over here and check out the other hive. See, they're... A little bit more active right here at this opening. Pretty cool stuff. And I am sure there is at least one of you wondering, two days into my beekeeping career, zero stings so far. And right now, I am actually back here in shorts and flip-flops. Don't have my veil on, didn't have any gloves on. Um, they seem to be pretty docile. Like I said, I just cut the grass back here. That didn't agitate them. Um, definitely wouldn't be brave enough to open the hive up without a veil and probably, well, I guess I didn't have gloves the other day, but I, I definitely wouldn't be brave enough to do it without my veil at this point. But uh, they seem to be pretty laid back so far. And I believe that that was uh, the, the choice in bees that my brother ordered were the, uh, the more docile, less, uh, less aggressive variety and that that was on purpose so he said we'll pick this back up tomorrow when he comes over and we'll show you what's going on inside the hive because he'll be able to give us uh, a bit more detail about what's going on what we're looking for and all that stuff so see you tomorrow all right so micah came back over today we're gonna go ahead and get the smoker lit up so we are going to hit him with a little bit of smoke today, make sure everybody stays all happy and docile. So he's getting that fired up. And then I'm over here getting some more feeders, getting the feeders filled back up to make sure that they got that good sugar water.
Mike is busting open hive number two. I'll show you guys here real quick. This is that queen trap from the first hive we pulled out. And you can see they did eat the candy out of the end. So the queen has been released in there. There you go, just a little steadier for you. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. He took out one of the frames to create a little room to be able to slide the other frames over. Take a peek. See, same thing so going on here. Bees. Don't know if you can out. tell, but the cap is gone. <laughs> Come on, camera. There we go. So they're starting to build new comb. See, this next frame should have a lot. This is the frame that I waxed. So they have more of a head start. Ah, uh, yeah. You can see how it's white down there. From that's you know that's the plastic, and then all the yellow is the, the comb that they've been building. Oh yeah, it really raised up on this side. And that's in three days. Now we're going to bust open box number three, the little nuke box, the little nucleus box that uh, our dad put together for us. Check to make sure that the last queen has been set free. Remind me again, Mike, I was saying something in the when I was talking yesterday, what kind of bees are these? These are Italian honeybees. Italian honeybees. And they're the uh, the more docile variety, right? It's a little more docile than like your Russians. And, uh, good reproducers. So everything looked good. All of our queens uh, were successfully released. They were starting to build comb, uh, new comb in all three of the hives. So those are all the things that, uh, that we wanted to see today. So thumbs up. So I don't know exactly when the next bee update is gonna be. Um, ah, see what I did there, bee is gonna be. Uh, we'll be, I'll be coming out here and making sure that the syrup feeders do stay full for the next month or so, Micah told me is about what I want to aim for is making sure that they do have that supplemental food for about the next month or so. Going to be sure I'm keeping an eye on that, but uh, going to kind of just be leaving them be to do their own thing. Probably open them up at some point, you know, just to check it out out of curiosity, but really are just going to be able to leave them to their own devices to establish in their hives. So if you guys enjoyed that video, be sure to go over and give my brother's channel a subscription. His channel is called B Dad, B E E X D A D, and all he does is beekeeping stuff. So if you're interested in this, I believe I made mention at the beginning of the video, I am by no means the content expert on this. He is much more so than I am. This is his second year with his hive and he has learned a lot and has a lot of cool information in all of his videos. So go give him a follow. If you enjoyed this video, think about hitting that sub thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, y'all, we will see you.